زاد إمام دستاز بالسائل أو إمام المغرب in just to recite an ayah from verses from Surah Yunus who will reflect on ayah number 101. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to our beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam قُلْ انْظُرُوا مَادَ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ انْظُرُوا مَادَ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا تُغْنِ الْآيَاتُ وَالْنُذُرُ عَنْ قَوْلِ اللَّهِ يُؤْمِنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded to our beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, O Muhammad, say to them to all of us, to all humanity, انظروا, observe, ماذا في السماوات والأرض? What is in the heaven and in the earth? Look at the creation of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and how Allah سبحانه وتعالى made them unique. وما تغني الآيات والنذر عن قول لا يؤمنون. But neither the ayats, the verses, the revelations, nor the Warnings benefit those who have no faith, those who do not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to reflect upon the day and night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to look and observe on the days and the nights, the heavens and the earth. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create them? وَهُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ خِلْفَةً لِمَنْ أَرَادَ أَنْ يَذَّكَرَ وَأَرَادَ شُكُورًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who made the day and night in succession, in succession, one after another. Why? So for those who want to reflect and to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have the opportunity to do. So brothers, in the year 2017, we made it, alhamdulillah. So many brothers and sisters of ours, of ours did not make it. They had plans and wishes for the year 2017, but they could not make it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extended our life, gave us the opportunity to reflect and observe His creation. Brothers, how many of our brothers and sisters whom we've known in the past are not here with us today? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extended our life and gave us the opportunity to breathe, opportunity to reflect and ponder about the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These days, the new years that we are coming, I'm planning to accomplish a lot of good things in our life. Have we, not, have we ever thought about that these days? that are coming are driving us away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, driving us away from the dunya and bringing us close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna la nafrahu bil ayyami naqta'uha wa kullu yawmin mada yudni min al-ajali fa'amal li nafsika qabla al-mawti mujtahidan fa inna man rikhu wal khusran fi al-amal. Brothers, we're so happy, we're very happy and eager to meet the year 2017. But do we realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the days of 2016 is gone? And that will never come back to us. And the 2017 is driving us close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yaqul Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah. Yabna Adam, inna ma anta ayyam. O sons of Adam, your life is all time. You're nothing but days. And if a day of day passes by, portion of you is gone. Part of you is gone. You're getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So brothers and sisters, it's important that we reflect upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ponder and reflect and observe the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that will bring us close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala Allah azza min qail, awala ma tafakkaru fi malakuti samawati wal ardi, wa ma khalaqa Allahu min shay. Did they not look and consider the kingdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. Did they never ponder and reflect upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the time, the day, the night, the heavens, the earth? Even our own self, brothers and sisters, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to reflect and ponder about the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many ayah, a miracle, a sign, a verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we come to see every day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Yusuf, Ayah 105, وَكَأَيِّمْ مِنْ آيَةٍ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يَمُرُّونَ عَلَيْهَا وَهُمْ عَنْهَا مُعْرِضُونَ 
How many signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do they come to see day and night? They come to see day and night, they go pass by it. Yet, they turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then yet they turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ikhwani, we want all these days and nights that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us capable of breathing, made us capable of living, extended our life, give us opportunities to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us make it, make it useful and to benefit from them and be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have so much wishes and hopes in this life. We may be able to accomplish them. But those who die, brothers and sisters in Islam, they are not able to accomplish their wishes. And this is the path of everyone. Everyone among us, brothers, will take that path to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to our beloved Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Surah Al-Anbiya, Ayah 34, وَمَا جَعَلْنَا لِبَشَرِ مِنْ قَبْلِ فَالْقُومِ We have never met eternity for anyone before you. أَفَإِنْ مِتَّا And if you die, فَهُمُ الْخَالِدُونَ Are they gonna be forever? كُلُّ نَفْسٍ دَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ Every soul will test that. So let us prepare ourselves to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and understand that as the year 2016 come to an end, our life will come to an end. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us life full of awareness, full of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the year 2017 a blessed year for us, a year that we come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a year that we change our life and we drive near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanakallah wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.